Cervical cancer is the second most common cancer in women next to breast cancer. But the good news is that it is absolutely preventable. Yes, we are talking about a vaccine which protects women from cervical cancer. Hi friends, I am Dr. Rajeshwari Reddy, consultant obstetrician, gynecologist and a laparoscopic surgeon from Hyderabad. What is this vaccine? It is a vaccine to prevent cervical cancer and associated sexually transmitted infection in women. So let's start with who needs to take the cervical cancer vaccine. All women need to take cervical cancer vaccine. Ideally, it should be taken before the first ex exposure of sexual activity. So what causes cervical cancer? It is mainly caused by HPV virus, which is human papilloma virus and having sex at an early age, having multiple sex partners and of course repeated infections. What is HPV? HPV is a sexually transmitted virus which causes vulval, vaginal and cervical cancer. It also causes oral and penile cancer in men. It is the most commonly sexually transmitted disease and it is also known to cause genital warts. There are about 200 types of HPV among which the most important ones are strains 16 and 18. So, what are the vaccines and where are they available? There are three vaccines available in India currently. One is Cervarex. It covers 16 and 18 strains. There is also Gardasil which has two varieties. One which covers 16, 18, 6 and 11 strains. And then there is Gardasil 9 which covers 9 strains of HPV virus. They are available in all government hospitals and also mostly available in all gynecology hospitals. So who should take the vaccine and when? It is best recommended between 9 to 13 years. The vaccine has the best effect before first exposure of sex. So I think it is the best gift you can give your teenager daughter. If you started having sex, you can still take the vaccine, but the benefit from the vaccine may be lower because you might have already been exposed to the HPV virus. So the best time is between 9 to 25 years. After 25 to 45 years, it is beneficial, but to a lesser extent. And after 45 years, it is not recommended at all but it is safe to take this vaccine in all age groups. So let me tell you what is the dosing schedule of this vaccine. Between 9 to 14 years of age, uh, the girls need to take only two doses, which is at zero. Zero means today, whichever day you're taking the vaccine and the second one at six months. Now, if the child is above 15 years, then she has to take three doses, which is at zero, so which would be the day of vaccination and then the second dose would be at two months and the third dose would be at six months. So what happens if you forget to take a dose of the vaccine that is on time? Basically, it is an intramuscular injection. So it has to be taken in the hospital. So whenever you go to the hospital and take this vaccine, they will tell you the schedule for the next dose. But for any reason, if you have missed to take the vaccine then please take it as soon as you remember. So are there any contraindications when you should not take this vaccine? Yes, pregnancy or when allergic to an earlier dose you should never take a second dose. So are there any side effects of this vaccine? Yes, just like any other vaccine it does have uh, small side effects like nausea, vomiting, fever, um, giddiness, just like any other vaccine. Nothing severe uh, pertaining to cervical vaccine in particular. So I highly recommend all parents to gift your teenage daughter a cervical cancer vaccine. This prevents them from having cervical cancer in future. Thank you.